someone has to take the garbage out, someone has to cook the food, and someone has to clean the dishes. I want to do all of that. I plan my golf outfits for the tournaments, I recycle some for the practice rounds, but I always have new ideas for my golf attire, and I like to dress nice after the rounds, so I have to bring all my heels. It's terrible. The worst part about being on tour is living out of a suitcase. There is etiquette in golf, but it's not any harder to learn than what to do at a dinner party. Actually, it's probably easier. And these days, there are a lot more women out there than there used to be. It's not like when I was young. I was always the only girl on the range. There is so much I want to do in women's golf, and I'm living my dream. School is very important to my family. My job is what millions of people do for recreation. How can you not like that? If what I say or what I do affects others who look up to me as a role model, that pleases me so much. I think about what I've accomplished and my career. I care about how many wins I have and whether I'm accomplishing my goals. I care about my quality of life and money. I've never gotten cash out of a machine. I use my credit cards, so I don't need to do that. I think I do my own thing. I start my own trends. I see a lot of girls doing what I've been doing. Pink. Nobody wore pink, and now everybody wears it. It's flattering. An American champion, obviously being here in the States, is something that we all look at with the US Open. But golf is played all over the world, and there are so many great golfers from other countries, and we're lucky enough that this is our home base to be able to play out of. Women in pro-ams are always telling me about all the business deals they've struck on the golf course playing with their male work colleagues. I believe you have to have balance in your life. When I first started playing golf, I was heavily into softball and basketball. My parents have always been there to really support anything I wanted to do or learn. They provided the opportunity for me. I was very blessed in that sense. My main goal is to be the number one American and the number one player in the world. If an American is on top of the leaderboard every week, it will bring more people into the game of golf. I've always wanted to win in my hometown. Practice, work out, proper nutrition, lots of work on my short game. In golf, that's really where the strokes come off the scorecard. I really enjoy what little time I have at home. The golf course and practice facilities are perfect and so close to home. I don't really have a favorite person to play with. I like to play with the player that is playing the best, but it doesn't always work out that way. There are so many lessons in life that can be learned through golf. I am not afraid to say that I am still learning some of them and probably will continue for some time. I'm getting more and more comfortable out on the golf course with the changes I've been making. It's really just a confidence thing in that I love being in contention. Nobody ever wants to have change, that's for sure. But when it's good, it's really good. Find a good teacher that will keep the game fun. Work hard and don't be afraid to have success or disappointment. That is what golf is all about. Paula Creamer born August 5, 1986 in Mountain View, California, and raised in Pleasanton, the only child of an airline pilot father and stay-at-home mother. 
The family's home overlooked the first tee of the Castlewood Country Club's golf course. Creamer participated in acrobatic dancing and gymnastics during her childhood, and started playing golf when she was 10 years old. At the age of 12, she won 13 consecutive regional junior events in Northern California. And the following year she became the top-ranked female junior golfer in California, before moving to Bradenton, Florida in 2000 and enrolling at IMG Pendleton School, a coeducational prep school for athletic students. Creamer is an American professional golfer on the U.S.-based LPGA Tour. As a professional, she has won 12 tournaments, including 10 LPGA Tour events. Creamer has been as high as number two in the Women's World Golf Rankings. She was the 2010 U.S. Women's Open Champion. As of May 1, 2022, Creamer was 12th on the all-time LPGA career money list with earnings of $12,134,840. During Creamer's amateur career, she won 19 national tournaments, including 11 American Junior Golf Association events, and was named Player of the Year by the ASGA in 2003. On two occasions, 2002 and 2003, Creamer played on the United States team. In the Junior Solheim Cup, in December 2004 Creamer won the LPGA Final Qualifying Tournament by five strokes to secure membership on the tour for the 2005 season. She opted to turn professional immediately after the event at the age of 18. Creamer joined the LPGA Tour in the 2005 season, and her victory in that year's Cybase Classic made her the LPGA's second youngest event winner.